guys, it's Michael and Kyle with AKM Tactical. Appreciate y'all watching. So we're going to talk about a little, uh, a little range exercise. Range exercise. Thank you, thank you. A little range exercise that we like to do. It's a really good warm up. It's really a good thing to do no matter what. Um, we like to do it as a warm up, but it, it gives you all those fundamentals that you need to make you a better shooter. So today we are going to talk about. And you probably ain't gonna be able to see it. Dot torture. And we're actually going to bring the camera in on the actual setup and show y'all and talk about it a little bit. But it's really awesome. It's something really good to do to give you those fundamentals that you need and uh, make you a better shooter. So what do you think about it, man? Uh, it's excellent warm-up. Uh, we start off our range days um, with at least one or one run of dot torture. Um, it's 50 rounds. Um, you can do it with three Glock 17 mags fully loaded mm -hmm. or four uh, Glock 19 mags. One of your 17 round mags will have a 16 in it, so it'll okay. be downloaded by one. But yeah, you can do it with three 17 rounders or four 15 rounders. Um, but it's, it, it's, a, it's a great warm up, and what it really does is it brings to light uh, the things that you need to work on as far as fundamentals go. Um, it does incorporate some draw, drawing. Uh, and shooting and um, you know one thing that we should probably be working on is drawing moving when you're reloading and moving when you're drawing uh, doing those kinds of things uh, we recommend uh, doing it in your concealed carry yeah. you know uh, set up um, today I'm uh, running my truck gun which because it just doesn't get enough love uh, so I'll be doing it from outside the waistband I'm running a can of TP9 SA which stays in my truck um, and I'm used to running my Glock and my shield which I do have my shield as well but um, this Canik needs some rounds through it so I'm going to show you a little love today so I'll be running outside the waistband but normally we would run it inside the waistband uh, with our concealed carry gear uh, just like you know if we were you know walking around yep. Walmart so uh, that's how we're gonna that's how we normally run it and um, like I said it's just a it's just a good way to uh, just figure out, hey, maybe I'm slapping that trigger, maybe I'm pulling the trigger, uh, maybe I'm, you know, dr anticipating the, the recoil and pushing the gun down. Um, you know, things you need to work on. Maybe I need to work on, you know, just doing my reloads faster because it does incorporate some reloads as well. But uh, it's a good way to start. It starts off at uh, three yards. Yeah. That's where you, the drill starts. Now, some people run it at seven. Yeah, but you really need to run it at three because here's the thing: a lot of a lot of people will tell you that you cannot self-diagnose at three yards. You can't really self-diagnose till you get out to seven, ten, fifteen, you know, twenty-five. You're going to see the same problems at three yards that you're going to see at twenty-five yards. They're just going to be they're just going to be very very minute. Whereas at twenty-five yards, you're going to have you know a lot a lot bigger problem, but the same problem is there. So you can do a lot of diagnosing at three yards. And what you do when you start the drill, you run it and you run it at three yards until you run it clean, everything in the circle, fifty out of fifty. As soon as you start doing that, you back up to five or at seven. I would suggest backing up to five. You're gonna you're gonna realize when you run this drill. That it's a lot harder than you think it is. We run it at three. Yeah, yeah. We've been running it at three. You'll think you're an excellent shooter. You'll get up here and you'll run dot torture. And it really, that's the reason it's called dot torture because it torture. is torture. Yeah. It really is. It brings you down to earth and it humbles you and uh, yeah. forces you to work on the things that, you know, you're not good at. Um, was it a two-inch circle? Yeah, two I would say circles. probably a two-inch circle. Um, and you know, folks like Travis Haley make that kind of stuff look like child's play. Yeah. But uh, if you're not a professional shooter, you don't shoot uh, all the time. You're just an average, everyday guy. It's going to be something you're, you're going to have to work on. That's right. So uh, we're going to cut to some footage of us shooting, and um, I guess the target as well. Yeah, actually, we'll probably yeah, yeah do we'll the go to the target first. and explain explain how the drill works. So let's go ahead. This is dot torture, and um, you can print these online. Just get online and and Google dot torture and you can pull up a like a P, I think it was a PDF file or something like that and you can download it and print it off and then just make as many copies as you want to make. So the first round is five shots, slow fire, just draw your pistol one, two, three, four, five. The key to dot torture is to not get in a hurry because it's not a time thing. It's not one of those things that you're going to have to hurry up and be fast about. Take your time, do your fundamentals, and and it'll work for you. So five rounds, slow fire. Second one is draw. 
one shot reholster draw one shot reholster and it's five reps of that the cool thing about this actual drill is it tells you under here everything that you're supposed to do in that in that uh, in that sequence of fire so it, it, it explains itself very well but just just so it's a little easier on you we're going to explain it so three and four is draw one one round in the three one round in the four four reps of that somewhere around in here you're going to have to do a reload that's just kind of the way it goes then, in that, then this one is, is where it starts to get really hard. You're going to draw five shots strong hand only. So then you get, you're going to get those fundamentals of shooting with one handed, you know, all that kind of stuff. So uh, draw two in the six, two in the seven, four reps of that. You know, it, it, that gives you that drawing and doing one shot, follow up one shot. You know, that, that kind of stuff, it, you don't think that it does, but it throws you off. And you, all, you have to keep everything inside this circle some people will accept touching this touching the line but most people want it inside the circle number eight this is always the tough one that's the bug and boo this is draw five shots weak hand only so if you don't have your weak weak hand game up this will help you get it there that one kills me kills everybody so then the nine and ten is draw one shot in the nine do a speed reload from the pouch or from the pocket whatever you carry one round on the ten you'll be amazed at how hard that is coming up reloading the gun getting back on the sights and actually making a good smooth press to the rear into that ten ring it's a lot harder than you think it is but this is it guys this is dot torture it's 50 rounds it's awesome it, it, it really helps you out a lot so we're going to actually shoot this You know, the thing about dot torture is, like we said at the beginning, it's so awesome for giving you those fundamentals. And you work on every fundamental, not just your your basic fundamentals, sight picture, sight alignment, trigger control, breathing, stance, grip, you know, all that kind of stuff. But you work on your, your draw stroke, your reloads, your, you know, going back to the holster. Some people don't think that's something that you need to really practice, but going back to the holster it's just as important as coming out of the holster. On the range, well, if you shoot all the time, I mean, just ask uh, an idiot that shot himself on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, he, was coming, he was coming out, but what we're but saying it, is, but I mean, you know, you got a live gun and you're, you're you know, you're all that stuff takes practice. All of it takes practice. So going back into the holster, training yourself to go slow back to the holster. Because what we want to do sometimes is we come out and we want to, bam, go back into the holster real quick. And that's not a good idea. Yeah, we're not saying be sloppy back to the holster. We're just saying take your time because, I mean, that's... Slow and clean. You know, and don't sweep your leg, you know, just yep. be smart about it. and Because, you know, you got that you got that barrel. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty close. Yeah. And you for know? you thin suckers that carry appendix... Oh man, I'm gonna shoot that off. I don't, I don't, I don't run a safety, but man, if I carried appendix, I would consider running a safety for sure. You don't want to shoot that junk off. So, yeah. but 50 rounds, man. There's not a better way to spend it than running some dot torture. Right. Absolutely. You know, like we we've talked about before, 10, 12, 15 bucks a box, give or yeah. take, yeah. depending on how much you what you shoot. But if that's all you got, 50 rounds. What better way to spend it? Than shooting dot torture. That's how that's how it's been. If I only had ten dollars, eleven dollars to go shoot. Yeah. Dot torture yeah, man all I'd, the way. I'd print it off somewhere where I had a printer and yep. take it to the range. Don't waste your ammo. I, yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, if you watch this channel, then you real you are you probably are the same mindset that we are. That you're doing this. It's fun. It's a ton of fun. We love doing it, but it's also something that we do. Because we take this serious, we we want to, we want to be better. We want to be better husbands. We well, you're not a husband yet, but we want to be better, better husbands or boyfriends. We want to be better fathers, and what better way to show how much you love your family than to carry a gun every day and protect them? And if you're out here just shooting bullseyes, you're not you're not being serious about this, yeah. not no. at all. And, and like you said, it's fun. Uh, you know, it's like when you're a kid and you. you do fireworks or whatever uh you know that was all fun but you know now 
you, you know, when we come to the range, our mindset, especially now, uh, is that we want to get a bang for our buck. We want to get the most for our money. We want to get better. Yep. You know, not just the shooting static bullseyes. You know, yep. we want to get better at moving and reloading and shooting on the move and, yep. uh, you know, drawing from concealment. Um, yep. You know, we, whenever we're at the range, uh, today I'm going outside the waistband because I need to run this gun and I don't run this inside. This is not a concealed carry gun. But uh, we always run our normal setups. Yeah. Uh, and that's the way that we practice. And I, I feel like if if you do the same thing, if your range will allow you, because some places, yeah, some places you, can't, you, can't. you can't draw from concealment. You can't rapid fire. You can't, you know, you can't practice like you want to. But if you have the means, then this is how we, you know, we yep. recommend you do it. Yep. Get the most for your money, guys. Ammo ain't cheap. Mm -mm. It is not cheap, man. I spent some good hard-earned cash this morning when I went to Walmart. And it was nice not to, ask, to get asked how old I was. <laughs> she did card me, but she didn't tell me I, tell me I looked like a baby. I was like, yeah, America. You're 12-year-old. You can't be buying this. Yeah. Yeah. So, but. You got anything? No, man. Go. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, send us your uh, your videos, your your uh, pictures of you doing dot torture. We want to see it. We want y'all to get out there. We want y'all to practice. We do this channel because, you know, we find what works for us. And, you know, I wish I wish I knew, you know, five years ago what I know now because I could have saved a lot of money. Yep. And that's why we do the channel. So l give us your feedback. You know, like, share, uh, subscribe, comment, do all those things. But send us some pictures, man. Uh, let's see y'all doing dot torture. Uh, hey, if you cats can run it from the five, from the seven, let's see it, man. We know there's some good shooters out there, uh, you know. Michael's definitely a pretty solid shooter. I'm not a bad shooter. We run it from the three. So yeah, yeah. if any of you cats yeah. can run it from the seven, if y'all on that, you know, uh, Travis Haley, you know, on, right. on his level, y'all right. y'all show it to us, man. Ninja jujitsu shooter. Yeah, man. Kyle's not giving himself enough credit. Kyle's an excellent shooter, also. Kyle Kyle likes to. He don't want to toot his own horn, but he's a good shooter too. And this helps though. It's, it's still, this makes it's, a huge difference. Yeah. It's helped a lot with us. But yeah, send us a picture of it. Tag us in it on Instagram. Tag us. Uh, go over to the AKM Tactical page on Facebook. Post it on there. We want to see. Um, yeah, man. Y'all run it. And you guys that say that that's easy at three yards, go shoot it and let's see what you say <laughs> after that. Yeah. It's called torture for a reason. Right? Anyway, yeah, that's right. But anyway, guys, we appreciate y'all watching. You know, like you said, like, share, subscribe. We appreciate it, man. Y'all be safe.